What's up, y'all? What's your favorite guy online? Well, if I'm not, I'm going to be. Let's get into it. So right now, we're going to be listening to a band called My Epic. No rap, no hip-hop. Just going to be a, a Christian rock band. Now, this Christian rock band isn't like what you hear from Hillsong or Data Shakers. This is, this, they have a different approach. It's more secular. Uh, it's it's kind of like kind of like Switchfoot, but more dark, more heavy. All right, and you can actually tell in their albums or in their music that they're really Jesus and God centered. Now I know that some of you may not have a relationship with the Lord, but this music is still worth listening to because you actually hear a story. It's not just you know like oh praise Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah. It isn't what you see in church. This is totally different. So. I, I challenge you to listen to this from beginning to end. Now, what makes this song is so unique is that I listened to this back in 2017, 2018. But this is this song is like remixed. They have Levy the poet. Now, Levy the poet, he is a unique man, unique man of God because he he's a well, it's it's in his name, the poet. So he he's uh, he's he's free verse. He's a free verse poet, and he goes real deep with his uh, with his uh, with his uh, not only subliminal messaging, but also, uh, you know, sharing his faith, sharing his lifestyle before he met the Lord. So this is going to be unique. This is going to be a unique experience for me because this will be the first time that we've ever heard, heard this song um, with Levy the Poet. I've listened to this back two years ago, three years ago, but uh, right now I'm going to, they say it's a remix. And this was posted about six or seven months ago, something like that. I don't know. I forgot. But let's go give it a shot. Let's listen. Before we begin, uh, if you like to support the channel, if you want to support the streams and the, the things that I do, uh, if you want to support the content that I make, feel free to drop by. Yeah, it's right here. Feel free to drop by my shop. It's in the description below. If you don't want to buy anything or if you don't want to represent your favorite guy online, if you want to support him and his giveaways that I do on Facebook and eventually on Instagram, feel free to support me at the Buy Me Coffee uh, subscription page I have up there. I got a monthly and a yearly subscription. Not asking a whole lot. Just want to let you know that the money that you Put in fifty percent of it feeds put you know puts food on my table and the fifty percent of it goes back to the community. This is this is this is a dream that I have for the for the hybrid cha uh, uh, pages that I have set up. Is that uh, we're not just you know using giveaways for likes and follows. I really want to give back because that's what's missing in the world is that people are watching this stuff for free and. You know what's the return and i'm gonna you know i want to be like one of those few people who want to start that chain you know you watch you get rewarded that's what i want to do all right so feel free to support that if you really like if you really like the idea that i've set up if you have any if you have any uh, like if you have any suggestions or if you want to help put a comment down below all right so let's get into it let's enjoy this video let's move Okay, so that, that that's unique. I didn't know that this uh, that the album yet was released in 2010. I just listened to it like three or four years ago, and I didn't know it was released that long ago. I gotta pull up the lyrics, cause this is gonna get a little, little, little harsh, like, cause like this, this, this song screams for real. So hold on, let me just lower still, remaster this. Right, let's go. Look, he's covered in dirt. Of his mother is mixed with the earth, and she's just a child who's throbbing in pain from the terror of birth by the light of a cave. Now they've okay, so I just want to let you know in this first verse, they're saying 
that this is the birth of Jesus Christ. All right, so some of you may not be in tune or in a like really into like the history of uh, of Christianity or the birth of Jesus, but this is what's going on. So it says that uh, the blood of his mother is mixed with the earth. So this is basically when she get when 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 Mary gave birth to Jesus. They weren't in like in a house or in a hospital kind of setting. They were literally out in the wilderness. Uh, in some schools of thought, mangers were you uh, mangers were were constructed for animals. And this is in the Bible. If you read that, if Jesus was when Jesus was born, he was put uh, he was born in the manger. And the mangers they weren't made out of wood that you see today. The mangers that you would don't normally see. Back in the old, you know, back in the old uh, Old Testament and coming into those, towards the New Testament, the mangers were constructed out of a cave. So, like when you read the last bit of this verse, it says, "And she's just a child who's throbbing in pain from the terror of birth by the light of a cave." So, meaning that she's giving birth in this manger where goats, pigs, and other other animals will would would live, okay, which is a small cave. That is next to a house or next to a farm or next to the hotels or whatever. And she's given birth there. Now let's listen to this next verse. Let's go. Laid that small baby by the light of a cave. Now they've laid that small baby where creatures come eat like a meal for the swine who have no clue that he is. Okay, so this is talking about when they, uh, when G when when Jesus was birth, when he was born, uh, they put him in that little what do you call that that little kernel. I, I don't know the term. I, I, it, it's the thing that you put um, food in for the for the pigs, like what you see in a swine. It's like it was usually constructed out of wood, and uh, they put Jesus in there, and like they put him in there like a meal for the swine who have no clue. And I'm, you know, that, that's just amazing subliminal messaging. Let's, 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 let's just go. Hold on. I'm sorry. Baby, where creatures come eat like a meal for the swine who have no clue that he is still holding together the world that they see. They don't know just how low, but he has to go lower still. That is some really good wordplay. You know, this is good stuff. You guys need to understand how crazy that how how crazy this sounds, man. That I'm not saying this in a negative way. I'm saying that if you understood the subliminal messaging here, bro, you can actually realize that we cannot exist here without the love of God. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna preach. I wanna get us. Into this no clue that he is still holding together the world that they see. They don't know just how low, but he has to go lower still. There he is. That's Levy the poet. I'm sorry. I'm just excited to see that. Look now, he's kneeling. Ha, he's washing their feet. Though they are all filthy fishermen, traitors, and thieves. Now he's pouring his heart out. And they're falling asleep. But he has to go. Oh, that sounds so good with his voice. There is greater love to show. Hands to the plow. Further down now, blood must 
flow. That's such beautiful wordplay. This is now talking about the sacrifice that Jesus made. In the second verse, you're hearing Levi just scream out his heart. It's talking about how Jesus, who's supposed to be the king of the Jews, right? Who's supposed to be the son of God. Yet, he's kneeling before men, humbling and washing their feet. The, when, you wash, when, when you read the Bible and you look into this context, washing one's feet is a slave to a master. Jesus, who's supposed to be the Most High, is now serving man as a slave. What amazing love that is. And then it's not, it, isn't, it, it isn't finished. Jesus now has to go further lower, further down. He must be lower still. That's amazing, man. All his steps are personal. All his shame is ransom. Oh man, dude, kid, if, if you are in a relationship with the Lord, you'd be blown away by this wordplay. You'd be blown away by the meaning of all this. And you'll be reminded of how much God loves you. Since no one takes from him what he freely gives away. That was the last part of that bridge there. Looking in the t context, John 10, verse 18. It says, No man take it, taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Meaning, Jesus has complete control of the thing that he gives to mankind. The love salvation, the freedom, the peace of heart and mind. Jesus has the power to give it and take it. It doesn't mean that Jesus is going to take it away. He's just letting you know that he has that power. He has the ability to give and take, just like God can. So we cannot take God's love by doing good works, by being a good person. You have to acknowledge the sacrifice that Jesus made. And He freely gave that life for us. Forgive me for preaching, but this needs to be said. Let's go, let's go. That's good stuff, man. We ain't done with the song yet. Listen to this last verse.
Wow. Okay, this isn't done yet, but I want to let you guys know how amazing this last bit is. Beat in his face, tear the skin off his back, lower still. Jesus was willing to be humiliated in public, scourged half to death for us. They stripped him off of his clothes, forced him to carry a, cro a cross and crawl amongst the streets and be hung on that tree, be hung on that cross like a criminal. And then they buried him into the earth like a seed. Now watch this. Wow, that was intense. That last, like, I guess we can call it the ending. Wow, it, is, it just basically says, the earth explodes, she cannot contain him. The, the physics of this world, the science, the, the explanations to all things on that, that, that happened here on earth and around it, cannot contain who Jesus is. Death itself no longer reigns. Now, Jesus was brought back to life through the power of God, and now he has proven that he is above death. He's above the things that, the principles and the laws that, 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 that keep us and and as the as the universe shatters, the darkness dissolves. He alone will be honored, bro. If we could understand the sovereignty that Jesus has, we could finally recognize how much an amazing God loves us. He doesn't just love us as a group or as a community. He loves each and every single individual. As if he had a relationship with just you. And that's how he's that's how he loves every single person. Throughout the entire song, it talks about Jesus being born at the lowest of lows. And yet he continued going lower still. He was raised. At a low position of life. He's supposed to be the king of Jews. He's supposed to be the, the prophesied savior. He was supposed to be welcomed by chariots of fire. And angels would play. And yet he didn't. He came as a lowly person. He served. 
his disciples, his followers, like he was the slave. When he was supposed to exemplify what a king or what a leader is. He was beaten in public, humiliated in public. People hated him. And he did it all for free. All because he loves you. He loves all of us. Now forgive me for preaching. But if you want to start a relationship with this amazing God that has shown you over and over and over again how much he loves you. I ask you to start this little prayer. Just the ABCs involving five things. Acknowledge that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus came through uh, the power, you know, was born through the power of God through a virgin. He showed the way to live and he died with our sin. He was then buried, our, he was, he was then buried with our sin and resurrected on the third day through the power of God. Believe in that. And then confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and Savior. And along with that resurrection, believe that Jesus showed himself to 500 people as key witnesses of his resurrection. Just that small prayer. For those of you who don't have a relationship with God or or are just completely unaware or don't have like an idea on how to start one, I challenge you. Not between me and you, but I challenge you to meet God halfway and seek out a relationship. This is an amazing song. This song was gospel in a nutshell. That a God that is above all things lowered himself below mankind just to show how much he loves us. My epic Thank you for writing this song. Thank you for the commitment that you guys make in exemplifying Jesus in your music. Thank you. For the supporters there who are still watching this to the end, I thank you for the support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this to someone who might need it. And to someone who might not have found their favorite person on the, on the internet yet. But I'm going to be. Thank you. God bless.